Make an ice coffee in the ninja. Well, I'm doing a little dry repair now. It's been squeaking again. So uh, we're taking it apart to see what's going on with that. So last time I put these new bogey wheels in here, I put it like, with a little bit of wheel bearing grease on them. But that seemed not to work. It seemed like it just froze them right up. So I cleaned them off. Now they spin. So I wonder if I should just get a little wd-40 or something and put just a little bit of that on them but that will collect the dust then too so i don't know i think that i think it needs something if i had some liquid wrench that is a good um some of that graphite stuff or whatever i don't think i have any of that put that on there So also I bought this seal probably about five months ago, six months ago now, and I never put it on, so that's when I was gonna quit making videos and I was pretty depressed and all that with everything going on. So now I got this, now I'm in a great mood. So now I'm gonna put this on. It came with this seal all uh seal in the body. I think about this kit on Amazon or eBay. Probably eBay. eBay. Got this and this. Uh, I don't know how long this stuff has to dry. One and two minutes. We don't have a long time to waste with that. So that goes on here. So we got to rip this old one off. Got that off, and hopefully that new one will fit on there. I better check that before I get off. Took the dryer out, uh, fixed all that stuff, took the back off, put the new switch in that I needed for the push button on and off, and then we uh, took the back off where the where the lint catcher is here. We took all this out of here, and we diversified and we cleaned a whole bunch of junk out of there that was in there. This was out in there. We got nails and pencils and hay and. Grass, fences, lint. They got all that out of their back on it. Put a little bit of liquid wrench. I did find some. It's been a lot better than they were. And the belt is a little wore down now because it was in there. We got the other thing all greased and oiled and glued up over here. So, you say hi? Hi, uh, Mike is wonderful. So, we got this. I've been rotating the clamps around it. To try to help it glue a little more but we are pretty diversified in the putting it in the dryer right now well i got it all glued and clamped you need more than two minutes to get the thing on there i'll tell you that right now because the glue sets up and you can't get the thing on then you gotta stretch it then it comes off it's like a big rubber band then you got the clamps on you actually need more clamps than what i got to get it all to hold on there so I'm going to let this fully dry. Hopefully it's going to cure all the way around it. Otherwise, we're going to have to get some more glue because I used all the glue. I got glue everywhere. Welcome back to Dry Repair 101. So we got it all running out. Now we're going to take some Van Sickle run a on there and make it look a little prettier than the rusty stains that's on there from whatever. What did you put all those rusty stains on there for, Mother? I don't know how they got there. I really don't. You don't know? You want to look at the camera? I sure do. Okay, she don't know what she did there. But we're going to spray paint that and see if it helps them.
Okay, well I got it all painted now. I was using the van signal and that broke and then, so then I had to use the color place, old paint can I had. Um, still a lot of scratches in it, but it definitely looks a lot better than it did. So it's going to dry now, got a fan blowing on it, and we'll see what it looks like. So hope you guys have yourselves a good day. Talk to you on the next video.